Like cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a distant land. Good news and it's bad news. Right, now which news you want first? Well, if you give me the good news without the bad news, that don't grab you, that don't work. All right, well, let me get the bad news. Ooh. Everyone must die. There's more bad news. God is going to judge our lives. But the good news, God sent Jesus Christ so we can serve our death sentence and then bring new life. It's the Good News, the Talk, good Show news Talk Show with your host, Tamashian the Visionaire. The Visionaire. What up, doe? The ghetto fade to black. Oh, welcome to the Good News Talk Show. It's your boy Tamashian the Visionaire, and I got something very exciting today. Actually, I got a person that plays for the Detroit Lions. Y'all know we're in the city of Detroit, but not only does he play for the Detroit Lions, he's on the team, Jesus. He's a Christian, a born-again believer that represents Jesus everywhere that he go, and I just want to get him on the show. This is Zach. Father, oh, man. you all right, man? Yeah, man. Like, how did you become a Christian? I mean, it all kind of started, uh, it started back That's when happened. I was in Berkeley. And I mean, Berkeley, California, if you don't know about it, it's a pretty dark place, man. last thing going on is Jesus out there. And I mean, it spoke through my cousin. Um, one night in my room, spoke through him, told me everything about Jesus in one night. And I mean, from there, boom, it, it, the Holy Spirit was in me. And I mean, the person I was before this, I mean, I didn't know the difference between God or Jesus. I didn't, I mean, I thought it was all foolishness, to tell you the truth. And that's what, I look in the Bible and that's what it says. It's going to be foolishness to those who don't know God, right? And well, the Holy Spirit's in me and ever since it's been implanted in me, I've just been listening to it. I've been letting it teach me. I've been acting, I've been letting God come in and do the work. And I mean, within two years, he's taken me pretty far and taken me on the best ride of my life, man. And it hasn't always been good. That's the thing. God said that he's made a promise to perfect us, right? And his standard is perfection, is Jesus, right? And I'm, and I'm Zach. I'm far from perfection. So it's been a constant, it's been a constant reverse osmosis purification process to try to get me like him, but I see the progress. And I mean, it's something unbelievable, to tell you the truth. Now, you play professional football, right? Like, it's part of your job to hit people, like, really hard. Like, I seen some of the YouTube hits, and I was like, my goodness, you know? <laughs> like, are you in prayer, like, for these people, or is it some kind of combat? Well, how, how does being a Christian affect, you know, being a, being a professional football player? Yeah, no, I feel you on that. I mean, uh, with me, I mean, I'll tell you right now, God loves big hits. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep it real because that hit that I had on that dude on the YouTube hit, Jesus was with me. I mean, I was at a point in my career, I was sick, I got, I got, I was bedridden the whole week, and I go into that game knowing that, I mean, it's up to God to get me through this. So I prayed to him, Lord, be with me. I, I put on my necklace, Serenity, Serenity Prayer, and I always take off four games, but this game I left it on. Well, when I get down for that kickoff, you know what I mean, I check myself, all right, Zach, let's go. And all I hear is this chain, tink, 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 right? I'm like, oh, he's with me too. All right, Jesus, let's put on these 14s and let's ride. And boom, and I start running. Next thing you know, I'm running down. Bam, and that one hit changed my whole career. And but what you're saying, and it, it, it is a fine line, because when I was a player before I knew Christ, I was a lot more, I want to rip your head off, get, get the job done. I was relying on me. But now I rely on Christ. And the more I try to resemble Christ, it feels like it's affected my my killer instinct on the football field. So right now I'm in that I'm actually in that mode of trying to find the happy median because there is a God of war, right? I can go to him and he's gonna provide me with what I need. But I mean just trust in him. You know, Satan's gonna be trying to get things in my head, discourage me, Zach, you're not big enough, you're not fast enough, you can't you can't start for the Lions. That's what Satan tried to be telling me this last camp. But I said that's foolishness. I gotta get into the truth that I abide by when the tide's high. I know you hear the craze say it. He speaks truth, dog. I'm telling you, man, that's what it's about. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks for being part of the show, sure, man. man. And we have, this is the year that the Detroit Lions will be more than a laughing stock of the NFL or even the city, you know what I'm saying? Because we got people that's been working hard, training, but not only that, we got a Christian on the team that uh, God will show his favor on, you know? Yeah, so, amen. Uh, amen. What, I, what, what I do, Zach, when I end the show, I got something called the Get On Faith of Black. Detroit Lions, Get On Faith of Black. Go ahead, Zach. Yeah, man, if you want to get in touch with me, I like to be in touch with my fans because when you're talking about Jesus, I'm there to help, man. He's put me in this possession, put me in this position, give me this platform. So contact me at 
contact at ZakarianFault.com. And then my website is www.ZakarianFault.com. And that's Z-A-K-A-R-I-A-N, Fault, F-O-L-L-E-T-T.com. Heard it here first. I do what I'm with it, down forever. I go wherever, whether I'm dealing with calm or stormy weather. I'm truly committed in the rainstorm. I'm a brainstorm, maintain, hold on to the rain's gone. Ain't nothing better than the sun when it peeks through the clouds or knowing the sun's proud when I please you. I reach through the fire and touch you. Ever you want me to touch, trust and believe you. And when I'm in those hostile places, you say, don't even worry about their faces. Cause you beat my mouthpiece, so my outreach don't fall short on account of my kind of broke down speech. Whatever it takes, I'm steady. I'll fast or get my passport ready. In case you need to send me to the Serengeti, I'm there. Just give me a task, I'm yours.